God, and let me let me start by saying this. When I say God, I do not mean Kyle Larson, even though that is who God is for most of you people. I have to sit here and make this video because I can't believe the idiocracy that I am hearing, seeing, listening to, attempting to understand, attempting to reason with. Some people are just so headstrong. I'll take you on. This Alex Bowman thing and how it will affect or potentially could affect Kyle Larson's future dirt racing career. Now, my video and my speculation was no sprint cars, right? I said that yesterday. NASCAR on Fox literally came out with a video, with a video talking about this today, about sprint cars and stuff. And look at this. Look at what old Jamie McMurray had to say to the, to the world. Listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. And I, you know, this won't be popular, especially with the sprint car community. But to me, I, I don't mind if, if my driver wanted to go run a, a late model. Um, you know, Kyle Larson does the dirt late models a lot. And I like that. And I think if that helps him on Sunday or if it wants, gets him out wanting to do some more racing, I'm all for that. I just, to me, the, the risk versus reward in the sprint cars, we just see a lot of accidents in that. Um, it, you know, obviously Kyle has not been hurt yet. But to me, it's just a matter of time with the amount of races that he runs before something like, you know, like that could happen to him. So if I'm a, a, a team owner, I don't have a problem with you wanting to run other races. I just want, would like for you to stay have an open wheel car. Do you run other races and other divisions and do you think it benefits you? Has it helped you? You know, I do here and there, lay models, um, you know, uh, in Millbridge with a micro that is kind of like a small, a small mm -hmm. midget. Now, 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 what's funny about Daniel Suarez, I don't even want to hear what he has to say. I mean, as far as racing talent in America, he's... D-class, and when I say D-class, I'm comparing him to uh, all the racers out there. Uh, Larson, um, Alex Bowman, Anthony Macri, Danny Dietrich, Brad Sweet. I mean, there, there's levels of drivers. There's A-class drivers in America, and in my opinion, A-class drivers ain't necessarily NASCAR drivers. A-class drivers are A-class drivers. They are pinnacle drivers of their sport, their division, they are the top-of-the-line talents that they are just the international race of champion style drivers. They are the best of the best. And I don't really draw a, a stature between different series when it comes to these classes of drivers. Daniel Suarez, to me, is a CD-class driver. Now, when I say CD-class driver, I'm talking about outside of the top 10 in all national racing associations i think the top 10 in sprint cars late models stock cars road racing off-road trucks all these different divisions of, of of racing out there are top of rally cross whatever you want to call it those those boys are in the class a i don't put daniel suarez in a class a and honestly those top 10 in NASCAR is about all the, the, the drivers that they could maybe contend for a Class A, Class B driver as far as top level because they don't really have many drivers outside that top 10 that have stifled themselves there on talent. But I will listen to Jamie McMurray. Jamie McMurray made a very good point here, and that's exactly the point I was trying to make. I don't think that Hendrick Motorsports or Rick... Mr. H, as, as everyone calls him, is going to restrict Kyle Larson from running dirt track racing. I think he's going to, and I think there's a, a logical conversation to be had on Kyle Larson running sprint cars and open wheel vehicles. Okay, now some of you people may not want to hear this. And I'm not coming at this from a disrespectful angle. I'm coming at this from... The fact of the matter, maybe these three people up here, especially the old girl on the left, which is looking mighty nice in those red pants. I just want to say right now, when we talk about a sprint car, we are talking about one of, if not the most dangerous racing vehicles in the world. This is a 900 horsepower, 1400 pound rocket ship. This is a jet on the ground. They, that, that's why they have wings to keep them there. 
Because if they didn't have wings, they would take off as the non-wing cars and Brady Bacon proved us with the sky is the limit. These sprint cars are the most extreme racing vehicles in the world, and the drivers behind them not only are taking an insane crazy risk that maybe these three up on this panel can't even imagine or fathom a taking, but these drivers have the immense amount of, of ability and skill to control this jet on that ground. Sprint cars are the top echelon when it comes to driving ability in the world. You get these tracks like uh, Eagle Raceway that we're going to be seeing here soon with the High Limit Sprint Car Series. You get them on Hobstock like the World of Outlaw Sprint Car Series is going to be at Saturday. You get them on some of these Bory, the Houston Speedway, the High Banks. Now, this is a scenario where you have put a jet in a gymnasium and the pilots behind the wheel of those damn vehicles are the top gun of this motorsports world. And when you strap in the top gun, you better be willing to die today. Some of you don't know what that means. Some of y'all look down on that because it's going to uh, uh, threaten your financial safety and security. In other words, some of you are a bunch of fucking pussies trying to live forever in a life that never does. Living your life to the fullest is on the edge of death because death is inevitable. And these damn sprint car drivers out here are living their life to the fullest. Way more than y'all out there with your damn cotton candy race cars and your plush little pillow walls. We ain't got no damn pillow walls out here in sprint car racing. We got jets in a fucking gymnasium. And if you fuck up in these jets, you might uh, fracture some fucking vertebrae. We ain't got no room for no bitches out here on the dirt tracks in these sprint cars. You know, I get pissed off about that because the only time these damn Top Gun pilots get attention is when one of them gets fucking killed. We ain't worried about Connor Morrell in this. Who's the other car that flipped off into the damn woods Broke the damn motor plate off the damn chassis. You don't care about his ass, although he's doing things in that jet that none of your boys can fucking do outside of Larson and Bell. And he's considered a BC class driver in our society. That's why I put Daniel Suarez and Jamie McMurray's behind him. Now, I don't want to be disrespectful to you late model drivers. Y'all are very nice, and y'all have a finesse that is very hard to obtain. I don't think none of those NASCAR boys could keep up with your ass either outside of the sprint car driver known as Kyle Larson. I said that right, sprint car driver, because that's what he is. Always damn will be. And that's why he waxes y'all's ass when there's a cushion on the top of the racetrack. But at the end of the day, if we're worried about safety, security, and living forever... And taking as much money as we can to the motherfucking grave, then yeah, Kyle Larson needs to be worried and Mr. H's and all these fucking monarchies and nepotisms and rich fucking uh, elitists need to worry about Kyle Larson running a damn sprint car and potentially dying or getting hurt. Good luck living for fucking ever. World's how many millions fucking years old and you're trying to live to be a hundred? Well, ain't you the fucking piece of pepper and the salt shaker? Get the fuck over yourself, you arrogant pricks. Live life to the fullest before it's fucking done. Hell, some people can't get that. They don't understand why I get on here and speak my motherfucking mind because I know that my mind ain't gonna be able to speak for as long as that piece of fucking pepper. Y'all out here thinking y'all are gonna change the fucking shaker that we're in. Dumbass motherfuckers. We will call this the rated R version of the Chaz. And I kind of fucking like it because it's coming with a lot of truth that some of you people can't handle. This ain't just about Kyle Larson being able to run a sprint car or a late model to uh, protect his uh, investment of his money for his little, uh, you know, maybe uh, 80, 90, 100 years of life that he's going to be on earth. No, this is about respecting true ability, true skill, people who aren't afraid to fucking live. That's why y'all slap your fucking masks on and dirt track racing was the first events to have a damn event. We weren't scared to put on a race. Terry McCarl wasn't afraid because he's a fucking sprint car racer. 
I was there at Park Jefferson when the world was too scared to go fucking outside when these sprint car drivers weren't scared enough to strap in these fucking jets and fly around a racetrack. Y'all are worried about being safe. Life isn't safe. You will die. Have you not faced that reality? Are you that arrogant? Are you that self-centered? Are you that stupid? Get over your plush assness on your damn stage. You will be gone soon when you consider how long soon actually is. Now, I'm not sitting here saying that restricting Kyle Larson from running a sprint car is correct. I do think that these masters will try to convince that as the logical answer. Unfortunately, life isn't logical. And as much logic as you want to bring to the scenario, your logic will eventually end. I believe in living life to the fullest, to its max extent, and I believe that you do that by not being afraid of anything at all. That includes strapping your ass into a jet on the ground known as a sprint car. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I just thought I wanted to Lay it out when I put my video out. No sprint cars of the day. And the NASCAR analysts back it up. Go run your late model and these sprint cars are so dangerous. I was coming at you from their logic. Their theater. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you know, Tucker Carlson just got lit off of Fox News and is going to go be independent. Right on time with Trump being independent as well. And everybody's wondering what's going on. <sighs> Smarten y'all's ass up. Just a little bit, please. Please pay attention to the games that they play. And then maybe we can make some differences in this little piece of pepper that we all are. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I think. That's uh, what's on my mind. Um, Like... Share, maybe comment. What do you think about what I'm talking about? Do you even know what I'm talking about? That could be a whole nother scenario. But I do think that the uh, controllers of the situation will try to entice Kyle Larson to uh, just run late models. Stay away from the scary sprint cars that are very dangerous. These things that we don't understand why they do it. Oh my God, you could, you could, you could die. You could die. You mean you're going to die? Y'all you, you, are that confused. They got you so wrapped up and worried about dying. That you forget to fucking live. What are y'all doing? Do it. Whatever you're afraid of, whatever you're scared of doing. The sand is running out. That, that shit ain't no mystery, bro. Your life has a ending. Your choices decide the story that makes up the book until the final page. And if you live your life worried about the final page, you will never write the book. Stop being a bunch of bitches worried about what could happen to you and make shit happen. And some smart people are afraid of you knowing that. Because if you know that, their control goes away. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, leave a comment below. What do you think? Maybe I'm just crazy. Whatever. You know, it is what it is. That's what I think. I mean, yeah, yeah. if you want me to speak in uh, their world, yeah, it's probably smart that he never run sprint cars again and that he just runs late models and that'll give him his dirt fix and everybody can kind of compromise and come to a, a common solution. You know, you don't have to quit dirt completely, you know, but you got to stay a little safe. These sprint cars are dangerous. You might get hurt. You might die. It's really risky. It's really risky. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to subscribe and uh, we will catch you next time. But this is how we ride. This is how we do. Riding mud, sliding up higher in the groove. Don't give a damn about the cash we're spending. With the time we got, we choose. We play it on the go. We stay out on the run. We are high, wild, and handsome. Ain't telling you what's right or wrong or what to choose. Hey, but this is how we do. This is how